Hey guys, and as you can probably tell from the title of this video, it's not the happiest video. I don't want to be making this video. I don't want to have to make this video. I don't want to be in this predicament to make this video, but here we are, so. Before we get the video started, sorry to do a shout out still in this video, but shout out to PD's Reptiles. Try to make it a little positive before I get into the negative stuff. And he's, is he slack? No, he's not slack. No. That, that, that's slacking up. <laughs> is he, does he say anything else? No, it's just the logo. I don't know. Oh, okay, maybe he's not slacking. He put my name on it. So, definitely not slacking then. Anything else? Oh. Okay, guys, my mind's just everywhere right now. If you take a look down here. You'll see the tragedy that happened. I lost most of my best clutch ever. This was my best odds, well not best odds, the best clutch I've had. The most anticipated clutch, this was it. This, ah, ah. It's not an easy video to make. No. But we wanted to show you, you know, things could happen, especially when it comes to breeding. Thanks for that. I, I can't. Yeah. I can't even talk. It's. I just. I just want to crawl up into a ball and stay in bed for a year. I, I, very discouraging when this stuff this stuff happens, and it does happen. So let me just give you a little bit of backstory to show you what happened. I left these in the incubator, waiting for them to shed. As you can see, they're all in blue. Yeah, they're going into their shed. I usually wait until they shed to take it out of the incubator. This time, I've done it with every clutch this year. This is the first problem I've ever had, but there is another issue. It wasn't just from leaving it in there. About a day ago, there was a power outage, and I'm not sure if that caused anything, but the power came back on, and I was assuming everything was okay. Time passes, I come today, the herb stat's not working and the heat tape is running on full temperature or full heat and I actually don't have heat tape I use light bulbs to heat up my incubator and they were full blast I noticed it was very hot in there so I, I rushed in there to check and this is this was the result ah. yeah and it's definitely not easy looking at these because there's a lot of uh, power in these animals as well um, like this one right here, that one was a male. I didn't mention this in the video. The male of this clutch is a spot nose, yellow belly, possible asphalt. So it's, this is, these are possibly asphalt, everything that's yellow belly in here. Yeah. So this video is mostly just meant to just keep things real when it comes to breeding, when it comes to keeping animals, you know, things like this happen. So if you are you know, using an incubator or, or whatever you're using, definitely go check on your animals as often as you can, because any second, you know, something like this could happen. Yeah, I just, I don't even know, like, I, uh, it's, it's not the uh, best thing to wake up to. Especially when you gotta go to work. Yep. And you have to still take care of more snakes, hatch out more snakes. Very, 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 very discouraging. I can't express how much I've already cried, how much I've screamed. Not for losing money, but more of my time. The projects I invest, like the time I invest into this project, just like the excitement, all the like emotions I had invested. <sighs> when it's taken away, it's not the easiest thing. But you just gotta keep looking forward, and even though we lost a lot, it wasn't a total loss. Because we still got this out of the clutch, and they were in a very bad state when I found them. I tried to cool them down with some cold water, or cool water, from room temperature. They look, they seem to be doing a lot better. I'm, I am very, very, very happy with that, but they do seem a little lethargic still tongue is not coming out as much. I'm hoping that 
once I get them back in the incubator in a fresh tub and the incubator is now working properly brand uh, older herbstat on it but working properly working efficiently and that's what I want to see so a big lesson for me going forward even a lesson, maybe a lesson for you guys check on your snakes daily don't ever think because you have something you you see it out of the egg it's alive that it's a hundred percent there because anything can be taken away from you at any second and just cherish the things you have and work towards your goals if you want to see uh, I just I'm just because if I lost the whole clutch uh, that'd be a lot more harder but seeing these three even though they weren't the best hatchings in the clutch some life was saved from it there's still beauty in everything, even in death. So, yeah, it's a hard day. It's gonna be a hard day, maybe a hard week. But hopefully I can just take this and move forward and continue to look, <laughs> look up, smile, and uh, keep doing what I love to do, so. Yeah, so in the comment sections down below, just put a bunch of prayer hands. That way these guys could make it. Just spam the comment section. You know, yeah. This video is mostly meant to just help you guys who are, you know, in need of, uh, you know, some tips or some advice. So. Or maybe even some of you are going through the same thing. Because I know a lot of the big breeders don't like showing transparency. But things but like this happen. It happens to everyone. And I've it heard sucks. stories. It sucks when it happens to you, though. And yeah. You don't understand the pain until... Yeah, like, I mean, breeders sometimes will tell stories and stuff of uh, things happening. But until it happens to you, you just don't know yeah. what that feels like. Last year when Billy lost the special leopard monsoon, I thought I knew what it felt like. And I still don't know what it feels like because I didn't lose that snake. So, I'm just going to look at what I have, what I have, try to make these survive get them thriving, get them feeding, and hopefully I'll do an update on these three very soon. So hopefully the next video will be a lot more positive and uh, yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hopefully the next video is a lot better. See ya. So we literally just stopped recording and I get a notification of like motivational things like every single morning and it says, you are strong enough to start again. So, I'm pretty sure I'll take that as a sign from the universe and uh, put my heart into everything, try my hardest, and I hope you guys do the same. So, just keep smiling.